In this video, we are going to check out how to convert decimals into percents. So our directions here would be convert each of these decimals into percentages. So how do we do that? Well, just keep in mind that the definition of a percent is a ratio of a number compared to 100. Decimals are very nice because we have built-in ratios compared to 100 when you look at the hundredths place. So this read out loud is literally nine one hundredths, right? So in my mind at least, I'm thinking this is nine out of 100. Feel free to write it out, but I'm just showing you what's going on in the noggin. So nine one hundredths, huh? Well, nine out of 100 is quite literally 9% because we've got our ratio of a number compared to 100. So that's nine compared to 100 or nine per 100, 9%. Okay, on to the next piece here. 0.58 is read 58 hundredths. So, at least in the noggin you should be thinking, the noggin being your brain, 58 out of 100. Or 58 per 100. 58 per 100 percent. So this is equal to 58 percent. That's it. That's all there is to it. Make the direct translation using your understanding of how to read decimals and you'll have your percent. Now, there is another way that some teachers teach this. I'm gonna go over that way now. If you're cool with what I just went over, turn the video off. If you wanna see another way or if you're like, you know, there's something else that my teacher showed me in class, check this out, it'll take another minute. Another way of converting from 0 0.09 to the percentage is the trick of moving the decimal point over. When you're converting a decimal to a percent, we move the decimal place two places to the right. So we would go one, two, and you'd end up with 9%. Now, I'm not a fan of this trick uh, unless you understand why it works. What we're doing is by moving the decimal plate place over one, two places, we're multiplying by 10 and then multiplying by 10 again to find out just how many hundredths we have. So you're really just doing nine hundredths and saying, well, that's nine per 100 or 9%. So that's why that trick works the way it does. I'm not a huge fan of the trick. I'd rather you understand it numerically and say, oh, 9 hundredths, 9 per 100, 9%. It's good logic. We'll use that trick here too though, just to show you how it works. So if I have 0.58 as my decimal and I wanna convert it to a percent, you move the decimal place once, twice over to the right and that gives you 58%. Again, we're really multiplying by 10 twice to figure out how many hundredths there are. I'd rather you understand it 58 per 100 or 58 percent. There you have it. A trick that's been debunked, but the logic behind it, which is stronger than any one trick. Go convert some decimals to percents.